Hey everyone, this is SPC Plainfield. It is currently 9.40 p.m. on a Saturday night. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can add custom streams into the No Weather Radio app for iOS. Now, if you have Android, you most likely have a different weather radio app than I do. And the process is going to be a bit more difficult or impossible as the app you have may not have this feature. So let's begin. So to start, we need a stream link. So I've already loaded the Batovsky stream off my website. So you tap the URL, tap it again and click, or, and, then, or, and then tap copy. So the link's been copied. Now we go back to the app we're gonna tap the plus button. And this is where we can add our custom stream. So first we type a description, example like Phoenix Weather Radio. So we're gonna type Petoskey Weather Radio. I personally, I do prefer just that, but you, you can name it however you wanna name it. It doesn't matter. You press save. Now we, now we paste the URL that we copied. Now, it's important to note that the app does not like HTTPS. It doesn't like it. So, we need to remove the S. However, once the stream loads, it will put the S back and then start broadcasting the feed live. So essentially what it'll do is once you initiate the stream, it'll put the S back and then start securely streaming the station. So then we click, then we press save. And finally we, we put in our, put in the location. So we'll type in Petoskey, Michigan. Petoskey, MI. We hit save. We press save again, and now it's added. In order to see it, we need to refresh. So I'll tap Hartford, or you can just go to a, or you could go to a different state section. And when we go back to the screen, there is our custom stream. So it'll act just like any other old kind of stream. And to edit it, we tap the I, and this is where we can edit the details. And then to initiate it, we just tap it, just like in the state section. And there it is. And there it is, just like any other standard. And just like any other standard stream, we got the controls up here. You got the current conditions. And here you get a nice, interesting view with the, with the even further details and a little bit of a synopsis. The current time, I'm sure that's in. I'm pretty sure that's in your local time zone, along with speaker, along with speaker levels. The speaker levels is what's more interesting. And of course, here you have the. Of course, here you have the seven-day forecast for the area. So just like any other standard broadcast. Now, to remove the stream, you just swipe it. Now, what if you want to add an external source like Broadcastify? Now that process is going to be a little more difficult. It's going to be a bit more difficult. And so for this example, I'm going to be using the Broadcastify feed of Asheville. So, on the machine, I'm going to hit View Page Source. And then here's where I'm going to get all the handy dandy details. So now I'm going to hit the Find button and I'll type CDN Stream into the search box. So that's how that is. So now to add it, to add a Broadcastify source, it's going to be a lot more different. However, the individual description and location process is going to remain the same. So I'll type Asheville Weather Radio, 
and type Asheville, North Carolina into the box. Now, when we go to the feed URL, it once again mandates HTTP. Now, we type broadcastify dot CDN stream one, CDN stream number one dot com right here, slash, and then the feed ID three seven four five nine. That's the ID for Asheville. So we'll hit save, and then we'll hit save again. And now we refresh, and there is Asheville. Now, Broadcastify actually is a lot more strict with advertising on their website. So even on the separate independent stream, there are still going to be advertisements, like here. Owning a business comes with pressure. There's a limit to what I can do and still keep employees engaged. So again, there is an advertisement at the start. And there's really nothing you can do because it happens every time. Because every time you load Asheville, there's an ad. Running a business. Yeah, every time you load a Broadcastify stream, there is an advertisement. There really is. And good luck trying to get past it because there isn't really anything you can do about it. I know I've made a video about... About how strict the ads are when it's time for already, but that's that's entirely a different story. Owning a business comes with pressure. So of course it's brief 30, 15, 30 second ads, a brief, a brief advertisement, and then it goes right to the broadcast. Yeah, of course, just like the standard thing, just like the standard, you got the map of the area, you got the current conditions, the speaker, control seven day forecast for the area and of course with the map you can move it around you can change it to a different location like for instance you can try miami oh yeah and now i want to do something now i want to do something really weird add wdfa into the weather radio app now i know this might sound weird but we're gonna try it out anyway. So, my Global Weather Society list, here is WDFA. Now I am gonna turn this off because of course, you know what's there. So this is the independent WDFA broadcast. This is the independent link. This is not on the website. Well, it is on the website, it's embedded into it, but I've copied the independent link from it. So, like before, we'll hit copy. So like before, we'll hit copy. We'll go back to the app, and we're gonna type in WDFA, the blizzard. And we'll give it the and we'll give it its broadcast location, which is all of Branch, Mississippi. I'm pretty sure a lot of you should know where Ari is by now. And of course, like before, we have to remove the S, it'll put it back when it loads. We hit save. And now we can listen to WDFA on our weather app. If it'll load. There are some cases where it won't load it all together. Yeah, this app plays a little bit differently with weather radio apps, either the link I gave or like the way it's, way it's designed. So, <laughs> well, I got a little too excited there, but for some, like if you want to try and add one of these nationwide encoder stations into here, it's quite a challenge because when you remove the S, it, Sometimes we'll put the S back automatically and load. It'll just refuse to load as a whole. So keep that in mind when you're trying to add a custom stations like, yeah. So keep in mind when you're trying to add a non-weather radio stream into this app. So <laughs> that is very cool. 
So now we'll add, now we'll change the details and try something else. So I'm gonna pick a different one. So let's actually do John's new stream that I have bookmarked. So, so I'm going to use John's new stream as a primary example. So we're going to do, so we're going to try this again, but this time with John's new weather scan stream. However, for some reason with the dot M3U, it doesn't want to work. So when I remove that, it now loads. So let's see if this works. So we gotta hit edit to edit the details and we'll type WJON Weather scan 24 7. And we'll type in the location of Fairfax, VA. But what if you leave the HTTPS in there? We got to refresh to update the changes. Or sometimes it'll fail to do it as a whole. So. We delete that and start it again. So once more, we'll type WJON weather scan 24 seven. We'll give the location of Fairfax, Virginia, where it originates. We'll put in the feed URL once more. Now, when, if you leave the S in there, it says it requires HTTP, and this is go. This goes to what I was explaining earlier. So we gotta hit edit, remove the S. However, now sometimes it won't really play nice. So when we try to load it, now it actually loads. So you can see it's buffering, and then it loads. So sometimes when you sometimes when you put in a non NOAA weather radio station into the app, so sometimes when you do that, it won't. Sometimes it won't load at all. So that's what you need to be careful about when you're adding a non weather radio source into this into this app. But just like any other standard thing, you got. The, this acts just like the weather radio stations do. Look, you got the current conditions, you got the speaker, you have the, the seven-day forecast for the area. However, for some reason, oh yeah, that, oh yeah, that's how it works. I got confused there. And of course, you have the seven-day conditions, and then, of course, a map of the general area, which you can move around. <laughs> so look at that. You can listen you could literally listen to WJON from your weather radio app. <laughs> that is just, uh... Boy, I'm sure this is a feature many of, many people who use this are gonna enjoy. So, yeah, you know, let's just take a listen. So it'll load for, it'll still stay on for as long as possible. Okay, now I'm going to actually try something else that's weird. Now I'm going to see if I can add my radio station into this. So now I'm going to see if I can add my actual radio station into this app. So that's what I'm actually going to try now. 
to conclude this video. So, of course, as you know, here's the manager for my radio station. So, now we gotta go to wherever it gives out. Where does it give out the... Okay, where does it usually give out the stream link? Oh yeah, here we go. So here's where it usually gives out the stream URL. So I'll open up a new tab and paste that in and it loads like usual. However, the link does change as the broadcast is loaded up. So that is going to make this process a little more difficult, but we will see if we can accomplish it. So. Here we go, we're going to add it in, and I will add it as SPC Plainfield Radio. And of course, we will type in the location. Again, and like before, it wants the HTTP. However, this is gonna be a lot harder. So, it's stream.zeno.fm slash And then we type in all these num all these letters. You gotta be sure you type it in the right order. You gotta be sure that you type them all in the right order or else it won't work. Then we hit save. We'll press save again. And we can go ahead and load it. And and it loads Romeoville by default. And look at that. Look at that. You can listen to SPC Playfield Radio on your weather radio app. <laughs> it comes with absolutely everything. And of course, as always, speakers, current conditions, seven-day forecast, and of course the map of your local area. So yeah, folks, that is a demonstration of the custom stream feature on the NOAA Weather Radio app for iOS. This is gonna be a very different process for Android depending on if your Weather Radio app has this feature or not. If it does not, well, then you're out of luck. But anyway, then, that is going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.